Good afternoon or good evening, everybody. Hello. Peach Lemon, mate, are you in the 152 or are you in the bus? How'd you get into a bus? Hello, everybody. Welcome. Oh, he knows already. Yes, we're taking out the Tiger Moth. So Steve Allen says, hey, Brett, and pending viewers, Peach Lemon. I don't think he's in the bus. I think he's, he might actually be this one here, but his name tag looked like it was in the bus. So, no, no, he's invisible. He's invisible. He was the bus. Oh, he must be away from the screen. All right. Uh, Jerry, no, good morning, says, first says, uh, Flying Frog, good morning all. And he's here. Wow, nice and early, mate. Nice and early. Michael Knott says, bummed, I can't make this. Hope you guys have fun, mate. It's the Tiger Moth. We will use this again. Uh, no doubtedly. Um, this is, this is a nice little plane. Let me know if that music got a little too loud, too. I think maybe the starting music I might have to, uh, tone down, too. Jerry, evening everyone, he says. Maya says hello and welcome to another Brett Plays video. Hey, I can say that too. Hello and welcome to another Brett Plays video. Wait, I've even got a button for it. Let's see if I can press it. Hang on, where are we? Hello and welcome to another Brett Plays video. <laughs> I came prepared. All right, it looks like uh, Frog and I are in the same one. I think I was going to do a yellow one, wasn't I? Yeah, I probably was. Maybe I should do the yellow one. Yeah, is that going to be too late now? You know what? I don't know. Yeah, I think I will. Sorry, Mr. Frog, I'll do that. Give me a second. Hey, Fozzy! Mate! I'm going to pin you up there. Thank you. Nine months. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Love you, love you. And there we go. Even something from some extra love. Thank you, mate. I've been working on trying to get something to show up. Oh, somebody's in a helicopter. Um, you know what? I am going to do it. I'm going to jump in and change liveries. Give me a second. I love playing says, dude, what's up? Now, who else did I miss there? Mr. Peach Lemon says, hi. Today, we're taking the Tiger Moth from Ant's Airplane. Yes, we are. Michael from Canberra says, good morning to everybody. On this Monday morning from Michael, I am going to fix that livery. I think I talked to the Flying Frog that I would take the yellow. Or maybe I did say I was going to... Uh, use yellow maybe for my video I can't remember it was one of those things but since he's in the uh, camo I'm going to choose a different one and it's loading I also topped up my fuel and my oil as you need to in this particular aircraft I have to do it in the other one as well. Okay. Uh, bummed I can't make this, Michael. You've already wrote that one. Uh, you're in the D18. Okay. Uh, didn't show up. I've been so focused on work. Uh, Connor says, bye. I've got to go to work today in South Australia. Uh, today's Monday. Yes, Connor, mate. Oh, hang on. Give me a thumbs up and I haven't even got my screen on. You know what? We'll put it in a quick intermission so you can at least read the chat there without having to go into the uh, side screen. Everybody who's watching this later going, what is he talking about? Hold up. Since when do I have membership? You got a gifted membership. You accepted one. noise he says yeah i added add you on my discord membership as well that you've been open up to that so go and use it up because when the month's up um unless you wish to continue um so you're gonna go and chat with us there or you can uh see what i'm gonna start adding because i am gonna add some extra things all right let's get back here here we go oh that one's already on okay let's uh work out how to turn that one back off there we go cool now I understand why uh, 
why Shane has that same problem. Now, my music's up fairly loud. There we go. Um, I love that I have random Hot Wheels everywhere. I'm guessing you're not talking about in sim. Now, I've not made the um, way to Mr. Flying Frog's uh, video yet, but he did tell me that the Magnetos are out here. Woohoo! Because we talk, and he's back home now playing with his uh, sim. Fuel valve is already open, isn't it? Yeah, it's on. Okay. Battery? We don't have battery, do we? Hmm. Flight controls are good. Mixtures are good. There is no prop pitch. There are flaps, but we're not going to use them. All right. Oops. Can I click and spin here? No. Oh, I've got to go through the uh, thing. All right, so we've got to get this started. Uh, down front there we go all right clear prop there we go we're good to go all right cool fine friends come on i'm looking forward to this flight <laughs> this is a great little plane mate it is awesome all right now oh do you know what i think i had a view for up there uh oh no i don't think i could have done it from there all right i got a few views Oh, wait, that's in the middle. Okay, cool. Nobody coming? I don't think we have park brakes, do we? I didn't think there were park brakes on these. Alright, it's very quiet. Let me know if you can hear that at all. Contact. Oh, that's right. It's contact, isn't it? Well... Oh, do we have people disappear already? Wait, I can't even see anybody. A Sobo. Serious. It's two days in a row. I can't see anybody's planes now. I could see them a moment ago and now I can't. No, no, no. That music is loud. You go quiet, music. Um, I can't see anybody else's planes. And if I can't see anybody else's planes, it's going to be like it was yesterday where we had to restart. Nothing. Nothing. I see name tags, but nothing. Yes. Stupid sim. All right, I'm going to have to do a quick restart. There's no way I'm flying by myself again in a multiplayer flight. Um, so, definitely going to be right back. What the shame is, I could actually see them a moment ago. You are in the Air and Space Museum an hour ago. Wow. Took 200 pictures, yeah. The best part was I could stick my camera directly in, in, into the gearbox and see all the cables and stuff. All right, I'll check them out. Restart and hurry up. I'm restarting. Looking forward to it, Molly's F and M Fury or Furry Fury. Furry, isn't it? Double R. Looking forward to this one, so I can decide whether to buy one or, or the Waco. Um, I did do a review on it as well, uh, and also if you're on Xbox, uh, Mr. Flying Frog's done a review on it, even in more detail than me.
Oh, music went quiet. I like Miatas on TikTok. Hello from New Zealand. Mate, this is the home of the Tiger Moth in New Zealand. They make them there. You know what? We'll put it on intermission since you're going to see me loading it up anyway. Nothing but a black screen in a second. But for some reason, I don't know if anybody else had the same uh, issue. Uh, my planes didn't show up. So, yeah. Oh my god, that's loud. <laughs> I don't know about for you, but for me, it's loud. Uh, there was all sorts of cessors on steroids. I'm not even kidding. It had a lot of uh, modifications. Cool. Um, Aaron asked, are you on West USA? Yeah, I am on West USA. I could see you, Aaron. I could see your name tag, but I could not see your actual plane. <laughs> Frighten the life out of me, he says. Come on. One eternity later. Yes, one eternity later. Oh, Mr. Two Mops, I didn't get your sound put in. Wee, yep. All right, for Mr. Two Mops, I'm going to play your sound while we are waiting to get this going. Um, hopefully these things are actually coming through. Oh, what? Am I not allowed to say <laughs> Two mops. I can't believe you just said that. You don't need a stretcher up there. You need a mop. <laughs> yes, we'll have that one in. Hey, Gammy Wombats, say a B after we are finished. It's all a bunch of tree-hugging hippie crap. Yeah, we're, we're playing our sounds while we've got a black screen of, oh my god, this takes forever to load. Heck, we even saw a B-29. The gear was two times bigger than me, curled up in a ball, probably. Yeah, yeah. A B-52. B-29 is still a pretty big plane. B-52's got a huge, wide sound. Yeah, I've got the sound two mops. I just don't have it installed yet. So eventually you'll be able to put in exclamation mark two mops. Fuzzy loves it. All right, uh, come on, black screen. Good start to the stream, considering uh, we couldn't see any planes at all in a flight sim multiplayer where you can't see the other planes. Like, really? Oi, who's doing the dog? didn't do it yeah you're right Stu mate it's a bit hard I, I kind of try to do my uh, my 9am starts and an XB70 There we go, come on. Alright, where's my tiger moth flight? There we go. Let's just put it on the active because we don't have time to mess around. But we will change weights to... Ooh, empty. Hang on, hello. 50, okay. I'm going to take 100, including the oil tank. Because we will use that up.
Definitely not good in a Hawker Hurricane. What is? Well. Wow, this is a great start. No, no, there it is. Okay. Oh, that's why. The snap. We, we lost half the world. <laughs> Because Fozzy did the snap, mate. It's like, yeah, I got a sound for you. Here we go. Here we go. Wonder if the uh, airplane heaven P51 is good. Apparently, not as much as I would like because I was thinking about getting it too. And then someone's like, hmm, the ones in Reno races are actually better. I'm like, ooh, okay. Here we go. We're just going to uh, taxi out. Uh, Idle Plane says, I'm, in fact, I'll upload the video to B-52 Stratoforces, Stratoforce Fortress right now so you can uh, take a look at it. Nice. What do I do with my water bottle? Oh, I think I left it in the house. Oh, this other one. Yes, Fozzy has a Thanos snap because he has all the rings, sorry, all the stones um, on his... Uh, glove he's the mod of at least five different uh, streamers so he has the Thanos glove I crashed a hawker uh, nose first and uh, it's easy to do am I the opposite end to everybody how did that happen nope but I got a whoa that thing's gonna burn my canvas uh, yeah, a bit of a crosswind. Who's, who's over there? But at least I see planes. Woohoo! Alright. Is that my engine? Whoa. Alright, I'm going to get in the air before we get burned by an F-22. There must be other planes in this end as well. Okay, that sounds pretty loud. Where's my sound? There it is. Let's turn it down halfway. Alright, tail is up. Oh, we are going against everybody, are we? We're up. I think we had a bit of a crosswind, not a... Not a, uh, a headwind. Alright. I hear noises, but oh my god. I am inevitable. Probably my life. What is that sound? That is not my engine. Is that another plane that can hear? You guys hear that? That sounds weird. It's another plane going by. We've got interrupted sounds inside. Well, that is just weird. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Once you can check out the two videos and stuff like Yep. Put a link in uh, other videos on my channel and we'll go and check them out. All right. We do have a GPS that we can put in here. I'm hearing extra sound. Oh, that is weird. I think I can hear someone else's plane. From inside? Anybody else hear that? Somebody else's uh, plane is making some really loud noises. Alright, where are we going? Straight across, I think. Yeah, a little further south. Oh, we're yeah, going down. We're going almost directly south, I think, from memory. All right, let's put it there. Uh, no, in on Discord under um, promote your video here. 
That way. Oh man, I right, got weird sounds. That's not my aircraft sounds. Does anybody else have those? Oh, that's a front. Just at the back. That sounds, you know what I'm getting? I'm getting the sounds, I think, of the D-18, the twins, inside. Oh, I hope that's just a, I uh, hope that's just a glitch on my end. Um, is anybody else flying the Tiger Moth actually getting the sounds of other planes from inside? Steve Rings is here. Aaron's taking off, and whoa, we've got a little bit of a, uh, Planes fly at 35 knots. I'm flying at 170 knots. Should be, should not be in the air. Also, a nice cat. Oh, he's, he's looking at those pictures. Yeah, okay. I wonder if we should put the GPS on for this. That might be a good idea. GPS? Did you? Map? Oh, look at that. Seem to have the right sound file inside. I'm, I'm getting something. Seems sounds too loud. Yep. I'm picking up external aircraft. Give me a second. I've, I've got to. I'm going to change that in the actual here. Other aircraft. I'm sorry, but I'm going to have to turn that one down. Look, everything else is already up. There we go. Now I can hear mine. It was picking up someone else's aircraft. Really loud. Ken said, just bought this bloody moss only 10 minutes ago and now in the... the didn't write there. Uh, in the sim, in the flight, in the whatever. Where's Ken? one's Ken. It is a nice plane. Oh, listen, that, that music actually works well. Let's get my face off. Now that we're actually working. That's fairly quiet now. Oh, look at all those tiger moths. They're always picking different colours as well. Oh, yep, easy finish. Back on. Uh, thanks to the frog, I'm now back in the air. Beauty, mate. Yeah, cool. I haven't seen the um, the actual video yet, Mr. Flying Frog. I apologise. Get rid of that. Um, I think it came out quite late last night. Am I going faster or did they slow down? Nice look. It's a shame though, I've got one pilot. I don't know if you guys are doing the same. I got rid of my passenger. Um, but because I'm showing one pilot, you guys only show up with one pilot. So I don't know if that's the same for everybody. Pizza for the win. Yes. I think, did I get it first or did... Uh, yeah, I did. There's one. Set for stun. And then we want. Pizza, 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 pizza. If you're pizza. gonna spam us with sex sites, we need food. Food is more likely to entice us. That's why we have the pizza. Better way. All right, there we go. Tiger moth, nice and stable. 
How many, how many people are flying the Tiger Moth tonight? Put a, uh, a TM in chat if you're able to, unless you're in VR. If you're in VR, put a TM VR. That'll make it really hard. Hey, VH NVP is in a Cessna. There's a... Isn't it VH NVP? A Cessna Yola. Going to Yola. Is that an AI flight? Cool. Mm, it does sound fairly quiet now. We got one Tiger Moth writer. Jerry's in a pivy. It's a pivy. There's Kenzo. Ah, Steve's in VR. That <laughs> would have been harder to write. I grew up with speaking uh, distance of Point Cook, and I know this bloody moth really. Yes, they um, they flew them out of there. Um, flying Frog was telling me all about it. I think I'm getting blown to the right a little. I'm not flat out though, I don't know about you guys, but I'm, uh, what am I, I'm at 2000 RPM. Pipstool, all oh, right. Icarus is there, in a Stearman, there we go. Stearman? Probably goes faster, I would say. Desert Soldier's in an A5. He's like, you got plenty of water here. I, I, I can land it anywhere. And Kenzo is uh, Ken Munyard, isn't it? And he's in the Tiger Moth as well. Right, I'm happy to do a touch and go here. I want to do a fly around Phillip Island um, racetrack when we get there. Wait, there is an airport here somewhere. There might be that dirt stretch there, slightly to my front right. So, why? SLE. No, it's actually probably. Can we uh, sit up higher? No, my screen gets in the way. Oh, that's it, right in front of me. Duh. Looking good, Ken. Looking good. There he is. Alright, Steve's going in for the, for the run. Which way is the wind going? I think what we'll do is I'm actually going to come in from this side. This would be nice in VR. This really would be nice in VR. I'm going to touch and go, continuing across the bay to uh, Phillip Island. And we'll do a loop or two around the Phillip Island racetrack. Uh, probably a little slower than what we're doing now. What are we doing? 80 knots? Yep. As a serenity, yes. What server, please? I can't find you. Uh, West USA. Uh, we are in uh, Victoria, Australia, near Melbourne. So the nearest airport is uh, the one we're about to fly over. Hang on. It is V. I'm sorry. Y S L E Yankee Sierra uh, Lima Echo. I think that's the field there, isn't it? Wait, I'm gonna come in on somebody's yard. Oh, I've, I've missed it by miles. Oh, don't follow me. If you're following me, I've made a mistake. Danger is like, nah, I'm going further.
Oh, it's near town, isn't it? I did fly here the other day. And maybe it is straight out from the ocean. Uh, that's a tiny airstrip. Actually, yeah, see, that one there is not it. It is that direction. Yeah, there it is. Now, there is a east, west, north, south by the looks of it. At least I thought there was. I might be wrong. It is all dirt and grass. Oh, I've got some speed going on now. 100 knots on a dive. Had a gear failure. What? Did you hit something too hard? Flying Frog is already on his way in. I was looking at the wrong dirt patch. Oh no, this has got, uh, this is sealed. Oh. Look at that. I came in sideways the other time. I must have come in on the uh, taxiway. I did a uh, Harrison Ford. Whoop, whoop, whoop. Can we do a touch and go? There we go. Ah, love it. Nice and slow. Whoa, Strike Eagle. What happened there? Uh, it wouldn't come out, only one wheel came down. Oh. Alright, we'll do a loop and we'll let everybody else catch up. Flight plan. One frog is on the plan already. I don't think people are going to have too much trouble. You know what? We might do one more loop around. Uh, let everybody bunch up. Kenzo's going in for a touch and go as well. Vintage Puppet. Is Vintage Puppet 69 with us? Here, Chris, mate. Good to see you. Two mops. I think it was in a different plane. I think I saw 152 on it. Where's my fuel in this? Behind the GPS, that's my oil. Right. Maybe the next plane uh, should be the F-15. Uh, scenery is nice around here. It's actually pretty nice, yeah. We're gonna make our way over to Phillip Island. I think everybody's uh, pretty much got ourselves lined up. Follow the other boys there. All right. Lock that in. Direction, hold, GPS. We can actually go back to flight plan. Point Cook, St. Leonard's Airfield. Yep, we just did St. Leonard's Airfield. Oh, somebody just went racing over. I saw that on the uh, thing. Uh, where are you flying? We are flying in Victoria. So, uh, Victoria, Australia. We just took off from uh, Point Cook uh, over there and we've just flown over... What was it? Yankee Sierra Lima Echo. So, Y-S-L-E. Um, I do have a flight plan in the description if you need to check it. Work out where we're up to. Nice, nice plane. All right, hang on, I've got some extra views here. Where are they? There we go. Look at that. Oh, no pilot. Oh, that's scary. It's in the co-pilot seat. 
I will shove my heads out. There we go. That might be easy. Uh, what if a beautiful ant, a job ants have done? Uh, they are actually really good, and for the price, this is really well done. Yeah. Am I flying level? Yes, I am. What am I flying at? Okay, 87 knots. I have pushed that a little harder, so let's back that off. Um, hide the GPS for a moment. We don't need you there. PSI on the oil is 60, per 60 PSI. That's alright, but I don't know if that means how much. Let's go for tablet. Tablet's pretty cool. Uh, what have I got? Rear airspeed is a modern. That's fine. I'm happy with that. Dirty one. Yep, yep, yep. Um, tail gear. I don't actually have the drag today. That's good. Uh, wheel covers. Out. Oh, I've got them turned off. Turn those back on. It saves what you what you have uh, on these things from one plane to. Uh, one time to another. Um, engine realism, I'm keeping it easy. Uh, quick, quick start is off. It's alright, we actually uh, pulled it down. So, fuel level is 37.8% and oil level is not. I got 37% fuel already. Oh, when I loaded in, it didn't uh, go back up to full, did it? No. Wow. Okay. I will um, I will be landing at Phillip Island, the tablet away, uh, in order to get some more fuel. It seems to be a common thing for Brett and myself, doesn't it? Uh, heading your way in G A G H Y says Microsoft Flight Simulator 2020 videos. All right, mate. Cool. Oh, this music is a little bit more right. Uh, Arcadia. You didn't realize it was playing. Uh, it wouldn't come out, only one wheel came down, maybe next time. Yep. Scenery's nice around here. My new moth, first time it touched the ground. Yes. Um, and Duck King, uh, where are you flying? So I think I've mentioned where I was going. So we're heading over to Phillip Island, is the next. Um, has Laberton still got an airfield? Was that Laberton? Did we just... I don't know. No, it's now a suburb called William Landing. William's Landing? No way! Huh. Welcome to 20 viewers. Welcome to Tiger Moth Flight. We're here on a Monday morning Sunday over in uh, Yesterday Land. If that's where you're from. So send it Sunday evening, I think. M fist is invisible. The H 135. But well, I got the Tiger Moss uh, in a view again, so that's good. Sobo seems to have a tendency to hide people's planes at the moment. See, I can't even see Icarus and Vintage Pocket now, but they might be further over. Uh, we don't want that happening. Well, I, at least I can see one that's close. Two, Steve Ring as well. Just deleted my passenger and aircraft uh, speed increased by two knots. Wow. I lived in Laverton for five years as a kid, says a flying frog. I do like the options that this thing has. Um, so let's have a quick look at what some options I have. So I have the... Oh, I've got a modern air intake. I thought I had the vintage intake. Um, I have the wheel covers on now, both inside and out. I got rid of my co-pilot. Whoops, this my camera goes too fast. Let's slow that down. Oops, that's zero. We want it to move a little bit. So I got rid of my co-pilot. Yeah, I probably do get those two extra knots, although I'm not pushing it. I don't want the thing blowing up. Um, you can actually, I think, I don't know if you can fly without the covers on. I guess you could. Um, so you can take your, all your engine covers off. 
You can even take the propeller apart, so it's almost like you could disassemble stuff for maintenance. Luggage compartment. I'm not going to open that while we're in the air. How nice is this? Man? How nice is this? I mean, I probably should check that I'm on the flight path. Pretty close. I want to take a one or two degrees to the left. I may also want to climb a little. What do you reckon we get a couple more? Uh, what am I, 800 feet? Hmm. Alright, I might try it a thousand feet. Because there are some hills ahead. Alright. What else am I missing? Thank you very much for those 13 likes. Let's go tell YouTube. Hey, there's a tiger moth thing happening here. Show other people. Tell you what though, that, I was a little worried that that fuel only took off 50%, even though I chose 100. But my oil was topped up. I don't think we're using it that much, are we? No. Only down to 34%. 26 litres left. Hey! No, 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 no. There's one set for stun. There's one. Oh, Xenon got it. Xenon, mate. Welcome, champion. Quicker than I can press the button. Fifteen hundred, seventeen hundred to clear the hills ahead. Oh, okay. I'll take that. I'll go two thousand. There's a couple of ex Loverton rugrats. Smash those pizza icons. Tell the uh, Russian box that hey, if you're gonna if you're gonna try and uh, woo us, food works better. All right, I think I'm gonna push it a little bit further. Twenty one hundred RPM. What a terrific review from Flying Frog on this aircraft. Yeah, he did say he went into detail. Uh, told me all about it. I haven't seen it. But I would say that he has, uh, uh, from what I've heard, because he was telling me how he'd researched stuff. Go check it out. Here's a link to his channel. Everybody, go check out his review on this aircraft. I also did one, but mine was a little, probably a little less <laughs> You need a livery with frogs on it. Um, Mr. Flying Frog. So you can't see other planes? I could. Um, I even restarted Xenon, mate. I even restarted the sim completely. But I think some of them keep disappearing. And I, some Sobo issue, I'm guessing, maybe. I can't see Aaron anymore. His planes disappeared. And look, I can't see... Okay, I can see Danger Birds uh, in front of me. I can't even see, so I can see Steve Ring, uh, I can't see Pinch Lemon, or hear him, and I can't see Kenzo anymore, but that also depends on how far away Kenzo is, alright, there's a Tezza, a 142, I think the 142 is a different flight, so I, I don't know, you know, mate, I don't know, I don't know how far away some of these people are, whether it's just a draw distance, or it just is some garbage is going on with the peach lemon. Which then makes me wonder, yes, yes I do, yes you see them, I can't actually see you in the skies at all. Ooh, I think I'm getting, oh no, there you are, you're down low, that's fine. 
um, back to 80 knots. Yeah, anybody who uh, does, oh, you want the frog, yeah, yeah, uh, does liveries, please contact me. There you go. We probably do need to get a few liveries up and running. I wouldn't mind getting some of myself. I think I'm getting blown sideways. That's why I'm left of the uh, flight track. So we're just passing Y T Y A. Where's Y? Where's my mouse? Where are you? Over here. Over there somewhere. Over there where Vinci Puppet is. See, that's what you should be seeing. We should be seeing a whole gaggle of these things. A whole bunch of moths. But we are losing, I don't know why. I wonder if it's a DirectX 12 thing. Whether I should go back to DirectX 11. That's something to think about. So you can see these guys. Paul Oz Pilot. G'day Paul Oz Pilot. I do like the colours on that one. Mount Cook, New Zealand. How cool is that? Flying Frog. Oh, I can see him. Okay. Um, is he going down? Is he landing down there? Or has he just turned around and got within range? Maybe there's a draw distance now. Oh, that'd suck. Ken says I'm dropping back for some reason. Uh, I'm doing 85 knots now, but back over the water it felt like I had more of a headwind been pushing me to the left. Um, maybe that's, that's gone now because look, I'm actually bouncing over that. I think maybe that wind's turning around a bit more. Uh, flat chat at 21.75 RPM. Uh, well, actually, I'm not flat chat. I can go all the way up to 2200 RPM. So, uh, is your mixture all the way open? Am I lean or not? Eighty knots is probably a good speed to sit at, I think. Also depends if you're on live weather because I'm getting uh, uh, a little bit of a hit. The quality on the TV is good. Oh, good. Uh, so probably not getting too much in the way of um, stutters. I'm hoping. That's a better way to look. look at that. All right, where's this racetrack? Oh, I've got to get to Phillip Island yet. Yeah? I think there's a new draw distance. And it kind of seems to be mucking up my plane. So I can just see Flying Frog now. He's coming in. I can see his plane. But Paul Ozpilot must be further away. I can't see him. Steve, I can see. Peach Lemon, mate, I can't see a D18 or even hear it anymore. Which is both good and bad. I like the sound of the engines, but I can hear them really loud inside my plane. Uh, you have got engine realism on. Oh yeah, okay, so if you have engine as um, not easy on the tablet, so if you put your tablet on and you go to engine realism, and if you've got that on, uh, I don't know, whatever the other ones are, um, 
chances are your engine is a little bit more worked and maybe it's getting hot or maybe it's um, you know just pulling back me I'm uh, I'm happy to sit on uh, easy and just uh, survive longer morning Bryce Mr. Bryce L good morning we are flying moths down to uh, Phillip Island we're gonna go around the race course at least I'm gonna try oh peach lemon yes it still says D18S but uh, you're going too fast for that Can't tell what Icarus is in. Oh, no, it's Demon. There we go. CC19. That's the um, push plane, isn't it? The Mr. Vintage Puppet. Sounds are all good then, um, Mr. Xenon. Kenzo seems to have caught up. He's a pretty cool. I can't see Icarus. I can't see Aaron. But I, I am seeing the Tiger Moth. I, I don't know. Sobo? Answers, please. crossing the water. Uh, now I've got a view for looking outside. Oh, oh, that's not it. There we go. Leaning out to the right. Uh, hang on. Is my compass locked on? Because that is not north. How does the compass work? Why is it both say open lock? Oh, you've actually got a turn. Th oh, there's my compass underneath. Okay. Oop, hold on. Damn, Brett, you've drawn a crowd this morning. I know, there's a whole bunch of moss. <laughs> it's like I've got a bright light on or something. They are a nice plane, though. Can you hear that outside very well? Is it very quiet? Sounds quiet to me. Steve bringing it in. Green and silver. No, I love the paint jobs on these. There's a bunch of yellows, but there's also some others like that. Here comes Mr. Flying Frog. He's bringing it in as well. Again, those almost caught up. Might be the fluoro yellow. Yeah, probably. That'll do it. Flying Frog, aren't you talking to me, G.O.B., says Xenon. I think he's too busy trying to uh, steer his... Uh... Oh, I think Icarus is on uh, Flying Frog's tail. What looks that? It does look good. We need to work out where we're going here. Ooh. Oh, there we go. Got another one. All right, where's this racetrack? There it is. Oh, the things you see when Gowan's not here. Wait, is Gowan still here? I don't know, but hey, racetrack. I've been to this racetrack. I uh, rode down here on a motorcycle from New South Wales, so um, probably about 10 hours worth of riding. Uh, we kind of went through the mountains to get here. Sorry, mate, I was flying, he says. Um, I'm going to go down low because 
you know, you can't oh, we back that right off. 100 knots. Oh my god, let's try not to go over 140 on the dive. There we go, 112, 100, almost 115 knot airspeed there. What's my indicator say? Oh, it's max. Yep. Looks like we do have an antenna ahead. Or power line, probably antenna. And I'm probably going to need to fill up because we can't get down to Wilson's promontory uh, on the fuel that I've got. And that's the next one. It looks pretty cool. And it's a good view out of this. Ah, oh, look at those shadows. I need to get a shot like that. There we go. Screenshot. Molly says, uh, okay, so far the TM looks uh, and instrumental features are more vintage. Um, oh, I've got, I've got modern on. So you can actually press stuff. Let me show you. I can have knots or I can have mile per hour. I've chosen the more um, uh, modern ones uh, rather than what they have. Um, and I do see a frog's review and I always uh, watch your reviews. Also, I'd like to get ideas and reviews of people. The yes, it, it is. Look, this is an amazing plane for the price. All right, let's go down the straight. Sorry, I'm going to. Oh, yeah. Are you going under? I want to wait and see if you can go under first. No, he doesn't. <laughs> oh, it's not so detailed. I would love it that they'd actually done this in huge detail. Corner one. This big sweeping bend. Oh, there's trees down, trees down on the track. Probably needs to clean those up. Alright, I'm going to do at least one loop here on this track. You can see other uh, planes flying around. Oh yeah, I got rid of my name tag, didn't I? There we go. I missed a flying frog in front of me. Alright, then we've got the tight hairpin. This is going to be a bit harder. This will be an up and over. Oh my god. And then another tight, tight hairpin. I need more, more power. More power! There we go. You're good. A little tight in a tiger moth. <laughs> I guess we could have put our flaps down. Not one flap. Our leading edge flap for a slow flight, but I don't, I'd say we're still going too fast for that. And we're doing 60 knots. Oh my god, this is tight. Oh, nope, 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 turn, turn. I'm down. All right, put it back together. We need to repair the uh, plane. Lucky I had all damage off. Um, I could not do that turn. Once I lost the edge, that was it. Yeah, let's use those flaps. Maybe I should have been having those flaps on all the time and maybe done, done a rudder steer like this. Look at the grass on this. There we go, now we're, uh, now we're doing it. Yep, yeah, rip that plane. Put it back together. Danger Bird's gonna drive it. That's probably a better way. They, look, they're checking to go under. Oh, look, if we're gonna crash it anyway, maybe we'll see if we can go under. What's Danger Bird? Doing?
Oh, I would say that would be a no. A resounding no, you cannot go under. <laughs> Thanks, flying frog. That was not necessarily a way too far. Okay, that sign, you cannot fly under. It is rock solid. Alright, let's keep going. Enough mucking around. Let's get over to the airport and get some more fuel to top up for uh, our flight to the Wilson's Promontory uh, Lighthouse. And fly the coastline. Sheesh. Phillip Island got the most of me, hey? Rip again. I know. Oh, I know. Yeah. Look at them all. Everybody else, learn from me. You can't go under the bridge. Looks like there's a few people that tried. back up towards the airport. I think it's about this way. I think we need a death counter. Yeah, I have, I have considered getting those. Um, I have some counter things that you can actually get, like, apps and stuff that it pops up. And, yeah. That's not working on Xbox. What's not working on Xbox? death counter hang on what did I miss flaps oh flaps only work uh, very slow you got to be under like 60 knots hang on you got to be almost like 40 knots um, because the wind pushes them shut um, because they're actually on the uh, the racetrack is gonna need a mob <laughs> the um, the flaps are actually on the leading edge uh, so they're here, they extend on extreme slow flight. So if you, um, if you put them on, you'll only notice them when you, um, get to, uh, a slow speed. Otherwise, yeah, it, it just can't, it can't push them out. So I'm guessing there's, besides this cable, there's a spring or something. And the spring is, uh, not powerful enough to um, to push them, but yeah, I had the same thing when I first saw them. I'm like, oh, they're not working, and I'm like, okay, no, um, you got to go really slow. R17, hi mate, hello R17. All right, where where's the where's the airport? I need to be over. I mean, it's coming from the water, I'd say. One frog's already there. Steve's gonna turn as well as he. Down there somewhere. I can almost see it between the town. Very good. Over there. Oh! Another Tiger Moth underneath. At least some aircraft are showing up. I don't know why the helicopter is not. I think uh, Microsoft's um, migration to the new uh, server for multiplier is not worked over very, out with very well. I'm in a flat spin. Put your landing gear out. Try that. Landing gear out. Although you're in the 22, make sure your engines are running. Alright, so what we'll do is we'll, we'll do a flap landing. Now you can see my flaps are not out at the moment, but when we get in nice and slow, that's when they'll uh, extend. I'm going to follow Steve in. We should have fuel here somewhere. Look at that, they're still not out. I need to slow down. Oh, look at the hover. Come on. There we go. Leading edge flaps have only just come out. Yeah, 40 knots or thereabouts. So slow. 
William Kelly says, good morning, Brett, please. G'day, William Kelly, mate. Ooh, as anyone says, morning sunshine. Uh, now, I think there's fuel down there. Oh, wrong view. Actually, I can look out there on both sides. There we go. Wow, that is really quiet. He says, uh, talking about uh, his flaps uh, can barely work. Yeah, yeah. Wait, what? Are my flaps back in? Nope. They are now. Look at everybody else just hovering over the top of me. They're like, you know what? I, I don't even need to land on the airport. I could land on, like, taxiway. <coughs> oh, excuse me. There's a fuel pump. I'm going to top up the fuel for the rest of the flight. Oh, me. Metal automatic flaps. Yeah. But you also have thrust vectoring in the 22. Oh my god, that was getting in close. Alright, and not gonna uh, automatically give me fuel? Fine, I will take a full load of fuel. 75 litres. Alright, now we should be pretty heavy. Okay, that's not the best view. Oh, inside the buildings. Oh yeah, put the wheel chocks down. Alright, fill them up if you need them. They're anti-tip stall flaps. Yes, that's it. Anti-tip. Ah, thank you. Moonshine and cornflakes. I knew I liked this. Wait, who's having moonshine Xenon, I prefer moonshine in the morning. Did you see my review of drinking moonshine uh, on my vlogs, Bryce? We, we bought a bottle of moonshine, Tasmanian moonshine, from a company that uh, no longer exists. <laughs> um, so you couldn't buy the uh, moonshine anymore. But it turns out it's it's not illegal moonshine. It's a... It's a product they call moonshine that is a liqueur almost a, it's like a licorice liqueur but the bottle actually is clear white um, sorry not clear but black and white label clear with a clear liquid inside and uh, it's moonshine written on the front like woohoo strong really really strong um, but for someone who doesn't drink lots of alcohol, like myself, who do I see coming in? Two mops! There we go. I can see him on the, uh, the map, and then there's somebody else. Oh, that'd be Kenzo. There he is. So I can see the Tiger Moss, but I can't see the other planes at the moment. Better than nothing. Oh no, hang on, I can see Jerry's. Alright. Maybe a Sobo's getting there hmm I think I'll have this way anyway see where the flag is I think we'll just try it I used to make moonshine <laughs> this sounds so much like Fleetwood Mac it does it does doesn't it I think we said that the first time we heard it. Oh, I think I can see a flag there. Um, who is it? A shiny one by Big Girl. 
Hannah Lub Lubichow. Okay. How about Honey Jacks? Oh, thanks. Mr. Flying Frog has put me onto Honey Jacks. Oh, it looks like we came in on a tailwind. I'm going to keep going here on a take off this way because it's a headwind. Which is where we're supposed to have done it anyway. Can I have a wheel up? Thank you. I like this over the shoulder bit. And the flag's actually fairly low. It's, it's hardly anything at all. Alright, we're going to head down the coast more. What I might do is uh, do a little bit of a loop and see if there's anybody who's still waiting to get up in the air. Back in the D18? Alright, mate. It's Mr. Icarus and his steerman. Let's see if we can actually see the steerman now. So we don't seem to see everybody. I can't see whoever's in the helicopter. Uh, Icarus' plane's invisible. Uh, Jerry's Pivy, I can see now. Yeah. Alright. Last two guys are getting up in the air. Alright, cool. Ken, mate. Get into some formation here and chase down that flying frog. Cool. Um, probably should have had a coffee break then, but eh, eh. All right, I'm going to line up a um, stream coming up this weekend, and I'm going to um, instead of flying the what's this? Sorry, kids. Wait, what? What did I say? got me on that one. Um, I'm going to line up uh, some giveaways on next Sunday's stream with the, um, uh, what's it called? TNAV. So the uh, Cam Air 480 uh, Navion. That's me, MFIS 10 in the 135. Yeah, mate, um, Chris, I can't see all the aircraft today so I don't know which ones are an issue but sometimes um, like I've already restarted once and uh, sometimes what's happening is the servers don't show the other planes yeah yeah so on Thursday last week they migrated to a new server apparently so Microsoft put a tweet out saying that they were going to um, do that. I don't think uh, it has worked very well. Can you turn a couple of degrees for me? There we go. Pink Lemon, is your credit thing working? No, why? To the prom, off. To, off to go, off, off to the, yes, we're going off to the prom, Wilson's prom. Hey, Wayne, what are you doing? Turn, 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 wait, wait, hang on, my direction is wrong, this way. Actually, it might be cool flying down the coastline, let's have a look. Yeah, I might, um... Yeah, I might head more to the, uh, the actual edge of the coastline there. And we'll do a little bit of some of the, uh, beach flying, I think. 
I had to add my own uh, custom waypoints as I could not load your flight plan in uh, until my PC rolls up. Oh, because you haven't got the other thing right. I did write down everything in the um, but you know what? Power bot's turned off, that's why. Why? 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 Why do you turn it off? Alright, let's try this. Try a flight plan. Okay, I remember when there's no credits working, that's because the web page has decided to turn oh, there we go. Fly plan. Okay. So from Point Cook to YSLE, we've done that. Philip Island Grand Prix, yes, we've done that. Y Pit is where we just got the fuel. Then we're up to Walt Wilson's Promontory, and then YYRM, and then to the Lake's Entrance. It's going to be a long flight up the Lake's Entrance. But it's going to be enjoyable once we get. Hang on, let's go on the other side here. There. Get over the coastline. Actually, I'm going to go right there now. And I'm just going to follow the coastline down until. Uh, the next point and then I'll probably skip over a bit and then I'll follow it down again and I'll skip over a bit and then I'll follow it down again and uh, we'll get to the lighthouse do a loop around the lighthouse and then we'll make our way up to the next uh, airport the Garmin seems iffy in certain places What do you mean iffy? It's showing kind of very similar to what I've got in uh, my VFR map. Flight plan only allows this much to here, so then you'd have to scroll down. Wilson's Promontory Lighthouse. 3D vision. Oh my god, look at that. Well, that's pretty cool. I didn't know it had that. Let's me know just how... Ooh, we, we are 90 feet. Okay. Beach run. Michael! From Canberra. Get a good one, he's down. All right, <clears throat> excuse me. Uh, you should be able to check your credits now, and we'll also be able to check uh, top hours because I worked out what button has been turned off. So, I'm going to give away uh, three of the Cam Air um, 480 Navion. Um, planes next Sunday so uh, if you guys are interested in getting a free copy of one of those the developers actually um, offering them up um, that's the guy who was flying with us B4 Gunner um, which is really nice of him to do that he didn't have to um, but he wants to and I'm happy to promote his stuff he's also got some new stuff coming out as well um, I'm not going to tell you a lot of surprise stuff and it's up to him to do that but if you go onto his um, webpage you can actually see what's coming looks good replays yesterday uh, I wouldn't it wouldn't follow my flight plan the other day uh, I could see GPS um, but it doesn't have an, a GPS uh, follow there's no nav um, there's only um, heading hold altitude hold or level wing hole, uh, you do not have GPS nav in the um, Tiger Moth. So if, if that's what you mean, you can see it, but it doesn't follow it. No. I can see the problem, but it looks bloody long. It is! Alright, top hours, flying frogs, 148 hours. Costad Digital Media, mate, I, he must be really busy because I've, I've, I've not seen him for a little while. 
Oh, danger bird changed to a P2S2. Okay. Um, Xenon with 111 hours. Gowan with 105. Me, I need, I need to delete those. Whoa, Steve is low. He's landing on the beach. Chris, mate, can you see everybody else in your thing? Is it just me? I mean, maybe it's deck 12 or something. Malcolm says hello, everybody. Again, he is now back in Canberra. Hey, Malcolm and Michael. Good to have you guys along. Wait, the credit's not working. Oh, no, there we go. Oh, some planes, not the moth. Uh... Okay, I have noticed that updates on any aircraft that have the, I think it's G1000, um, actually maybe even the 3000, but at least the G1000, you have to be near your magenta line for it to pick up a GPS and follow it. If you are way off and pointing somewhere else, yeah, I can't get the thing to go where it's supposed to as well. Um, so, I think that's something they've done in the latest updates. It's, it's, I don't know whether that's more realistic. Um, I don't like it. But maybe... Oi, redeeming woohoo. Who's redeeming woohoo? Okay, I'm going to keep up with these comments. So guys, had to go eat. Aaron, mate, you got to do what you got to do when you got to do it. I have been running a little experiment lately, says Jerry. Wait, what? I don't know. But do you think Streamlabs uh, is recording viewing hours properly? Um, I think my cloud bot might have been turned off. So I would like to say yes, but no. I don't think it has for the last three or four streams. Um, I think it's been turned off and I've just noticed I actually turned it back on so yeah no uh, check my hours I was at 50 uh, which I think is wrong uh, to start with wait what are your hours Jerry 54.08 Um, yeah, uh, so probably three or four streams, I think it's been turned off. Um, not on purpose, but Streamlabs seems to have a tendency of logging me out of the web page, and when I log back in, I think that's when I need to go and, it's kind of what I'm working out right now, I think that's the time I need to go, right, you have logged me out, I think you've also turned the CloudBot off. So, um, I've had it a couple of times. So, yeah, look, the hours might not be accurate, if that makes um, any sense. How's the weather? Uh, well, the sun's not out, that's for sure. I actually don't know, but it's not raining. Let's have a look. Weather for Northwest, actually, probably Devonport would be the closest. 13 degrees, feels like 10. Cloudy. No chance. Oh, tiniest, tiniest of less than a millimeter. Mostly sunny, it says. Okay, not right now, it's not. But mostly sunny. Cool. The widget isn't working either. Do you mean the Fly Live Studio widget? Okay, Bruden. Uh, I don't have it turned on. That's why. Whoa. Whoa. I seem to be going out a long way here. What I do is I skip, skip back along the coastline. I can turn the widget on for you, Vrudenin, mate, if you want. I actually haven't, um, I haven't been running it. Uh,
We will start using those credits as well. Um, no, don't turn it on. Okay. Yeah, it's, it's not actually on. Um, I've been... Look, it keeps failing for some reason. And I'm not sure whether I need to delete and re-download and get it working. Um, no, that's cool. Um, if you want to know how fast we're going, not very. That's about it, yeah. Oh, because I've started chatting again. No, I've turned it on right now. Like, 10 minutes ago, I actually had to press the little thing to turn it back on, um, Jerry. So, you get more um, points for chat. Uh, you get, um, every five minutes, you get uh, more points as well. I think it's five minutes. Um, and it'll build up that way. And, but your, your hours should be going up now. I guess it's Streamlabs that checks it, not, um, not YouTube. My woohoo sound didn't come through, I've been robbed. Uh, is there a sound with that redeem woohoo? I don't think there is. Have a look. Oh yeah. Oh, that was quiet. Why was that quiet? And it turned up. I need to turn that up. See if I can actually hear it now. Maybe that's not going to play. <coughs> oh no, that one's louder. Okay. <coughs> yeah, alright, it was turned down. I, I fixed it for you. <laughs> uh, Steve, mate, so you can do your woohoo. people there. Wait, oh, don't tell me Steve's planes. No, oh, there it is. Oh, mate, he is really low. My dog wanted attention, so I wrestled with him for about 20 minutes, and uh, now he's feeling all froggy. He wants a rematch. Froggy? Oh, someone's going for the flush. Yep, that's got a sound. My altitude is almost zero on the uh, meter. That would make sense since I'm down low. Off to Wilson from. This is a nice plane to fly. It really is. Don't do enough biplane flying. I do have the steam in, the Icarus is in, uh, unfortunately it's not showing up. Maybe I've got to get closer to him for it to actually decide, you know, the server to decide. Yep, we'll show you. I might do a climb here. So let's, uh, let's hold that and... about 2,000 feet. Uh, so those things seem to be one. Um, what else do I miss there? I 
Oh mate, uh, how fast I'm going? I missed that part. Yeah, I'm I'm 70 knots. Um, 80 is is probably uh, almost max cruising speed, and uh, I got to 110 in a dive, but I backed off because 140 is the max dive speed. Um, I do have one one person here in a whoa, look at that formation. Um, one person in a 135 already, and they're leaving me for dead most of the time. Um, yeah. So I'm doing a climb to about uh, 2,000 feet. As long as my barometric pressure is uh, reset enough. So what I'm doing is I'm skipping that inlet and heading more towards uh, the farm. Actually, we're going to need to turn a few degrees. Very nice. Never get, uh, never did get an airspeed. Wait, didn't I just say that? 80 max. Uh, sorry, I was. I may have missed your comment earlier, but I did get to it a moment ago. Um, maybe I'm delayed. Am I? Is the stream delayed a bit? Yeah, a little bit. Oh! Oh, he didn't like me doing that view. My SB, look at that. Barely 50 odd knot. I need to push this out faster. Mile per hour, sorry. 50 mile an hour. Oh, he's struggling to climb. I, uh, I might have left that a little bit too late. Township. Township makes much more <laughs> sense than what you wrote and initially there, Ken. I'm like, uh, 70 knots, cripes, you almost need a helicopter. Yes, mate, I need a tow. Um, 60 knots at the moment, though. 60 knots is what I'm doing. Probably don't actually need the GPS on here at all. Uh, we could also go into mile per hour. and no, stick with that. Keep that in feet. I am doing a climb now. Wait, I needed to turn a bit more. A nice beachfront to fly along. Very nice. So I figured I'd climb just to uh, get a little bit more of a view. Aaron's in an EMB 200. EMB 200. What is an EMB 200? Uh, make way for Willie! Hey! Just make way for Willie, you stupid just bug! Alright, we're going back over the beach, are we? So hopefully, um,. Xenon also, I answered your question there when it comes to... Oh wait, he'll be right back, wasn't he? Okay, I'll, I'll, I'll mention it later. I was going to say that uh, the GPS thing... Um, you know what, this is high enough. How high are we? Uh, we almost got to 2,000. This gives us more of a view. It's quite nice. The beachfront. So, what did you say this town was called? Um, Venus Bay. I've never been to Venus Bay. I've been to Phillip Island uh, several times, both for with um, like a, as a kid. Uh, my mum lives here in Melbourne. Took me down to see the penguins. Um, I've been down to the racetrack myself. 
uh, for motorbike races. Um, but I've never been down this far. I have been across the bottom of um, Victoria, uh, but mostly the main road there. Let's have a look. No, just across the, the main road over towards uh, Lakes Entrance, where we're going. And Sale, I've got, I've got family that lives out of Sale as well. Looks like the back seat, yes, you fly from the back seat in this one. So, I have no passenger. Uh, Rudin, mate, I'm a back seat pilot, like we are meant to be in the Tiger Moth. Um, but I do have a view from the front seat if I want to. Oop, no, that, that would be from the nose. Um, so you can, you can actually jump seats, change seats. Uh, there's no tablet here though and I think I've got all the buttons turned off so you can't press anything from here but there is an option that you can actually press so that you can fly from the front seat and press buttons and change stuff solo is from the back seat yes no idea why there's a pilot in the back either I have no idea It doesn't seem right. Maybe, uh, maybe so, no. I was going to say maybe they can see down. Maybe so they can actually see the fuel tank gauge. But you, yeah, you, I, I don't know. No idea. Hey, then I was back. All right. Hopefully I answered your uh, GPS question as well. you got to get yourself pointed towards that magenta line. <laughs> you jump from seat to seat, mate. You can't actually in sim. This is what your seating views are. But how's this? These are all your views. You got your outside view. You can open your door view. You can open your front cowling view. I'm not going to do that now. You can open and take off the front part. You've actually got to spin the prop to get it started. You can take the nose cone off. You can take the propeller off. You can take off the front engine cowling, the top engine cowling, the bottom engine cowling. This side one you can open up to either work on it and or remove it completely um, so that you've got nothing but a naked front end there. And you can open up the luggage compartment. This has got a lot of stuff in it. Oh, and then there's the other views. Yeah. I am here in a moth. I am here in a moth. Not I hear a moth. There are moth everywhere, a moth moth. Group invitation. Mmm, peach lemon, maybe not while I'm streaming. Not while I'm streaming. Actually, Icarus, I don't know if you're listening, mate. I did get your invitation yesterday for your races. That would have been pretty cool if I wasn't already streaming. Uh, the pilot sitting on the wing and the fuel in the wings is a center of gravity thing. You reckon? <laughs> uh, hello again, Stu. Uh, shouldn't the autopilot follow the magenta line? Um, but when you are choosing GPS on the new devices, the way the sim has set it up, they are making it... Um, Actually, the problem's over there. I'm going to go that way. They are making it so that you have to get to the magenta line first. So you've got to be within a certain amount, I don't know, five nautical miles or whatever it is, um, or even less, of the actual magenta line for it to go, right, that's the one we will need to follow. Previously, it was nice and easy. You just go nav and it goes, oh, all right, I'll go over to the line and then I'll get onto it and then I'll we'll follow it. It doesn't seem to do that anymore. And I think it's only those ones with the uh, G1000 in them. This one? Yeah, this one doesn't have nav at all. But yeah. Uh, but that is a change. It was never like that. It's now the way they seem to be uh, have organised it. And, yeah, and also only if GPS is selected. Um, if you have your VOR 
uh, one or two, or if you have roll on instead of GPS. It's kind of more annoying actually, because oh, somebody's going between the, the turbines. Good on you, Icarus. There's Mr. Gammy Wombat and Stu's in the H-Cat. Problem is, i am started to lose everybody on, on this again. Maybe I'll have to jump back out of DirectX 12. I wonder if that's an issue. Anybody else on DirectX 12? And can you see other planes? Because I'm starting to lose sight of the actual planes. Just your name tags. During the RAAF times, the instructor would carry a cut down broom handle to keep the student focused. The student would get jabbed for a small error and whacked for a big one. Oh man, that's harsh. Fuel is in the center uh, bit of the top wing. Yes. Yes, actually, we do need to just check and see how much we're using. I'll do it this way. Ah, hey, got heaps. And I'm already down to 97% fuel. Do know that this seems to save it. Um, Flying Frog and I have been talking about it. That, um, yeah, you're, you're good. Why, why am I not seeing people? Why do my uh, planes disappear all the time? Is it a draw distance thing? I wonder if actually that's a thing. Does anyone know why they used to have two wings? Um, I don't know. Stability? Extra lift? Um, not very strong uh, engines to push it, so needing more lift I don't know tell us why I might grab myself a quick drink out of the bar fridge here Wait, isn't that what I said? Because it didn't have enough power. And, anyway, yep, Steve got it. Oh, wait, you're still waiting for my thing to come through, that's why. Yeah, it should be water. It's not. I've been sipping water as well. Okay, that music's pretty, pretty slow. I'm getting to something else. It just might like it to be more slow. All right, I'm gonna skip across here. And we're going to get to the lighthouse, which is pretty much dead ahead. What's my speed? 85 knots. I'm doing 85 knots. I am flat out. Oh my god. I am too. If you took the top wing off of that, it looks just like every plane we fly today. Yes. Kind of. Yeah.
Yeah, maybe add an enclosure. That's right. So I was reading there was actually a passenger version of one of these Tiger Moths. Um, they were built just a fraction uh, wider um, fuselage in order to uh, carry some passengers. It's a long flight across here. Feels like you're going so slow when it goes across the water. The sky is full of them. Woohoo! 85 knots. I didn't know this plane would do 85 knots. I'm guessing I've got a tailwind at the moment. I am getting thrown around. I don't think I can tell if I'm getting a tailwind. How do you. Has anybody got uh, instruments that say what uh, wind we're getting? Let me try the tablet as well. Well, no, this is not going to tell me. Oh, we've got two planes coming back the other way. Who's that? Hmm. Do we have weather? That's waypoint info, direct to 3D vision. It's not going to tell me either. Well, it's actually telling me I'm doing 93. I'll oh, ground speed. Uh, okay. And on this side, what else we got? We have a statistics thing. Fuel 72. Oil level is 96.8. Spark plug condition is 100%. That's good to know. Um, heading, hold, we've already got, no, I have nothing there. Comms, uh, no, that's it. Okay. No, I will not be able to tell. Oh, Peach Lemon's gone over. Yeah, yeah, the, um, the Gypsy. Yes, that's it. And the Cirrus types, I don't remember the Cirrus ones, but yeah, the Gypsy. Uh, I think I did a preview on a Gypsy Moth on my channel, an FSX conversion one. Um, have a look. I don't think I did a serious one. Uh, there was also some French ones that had doors down there, but the pilots had to sit up on top, um, out in the cold. Val says, I'm uh, WOT at 84, cannot keep up in a moth. Are you on live weather? Is it just because of where my location I'm getting a tailwind? I guess so. Stu with a uh, spanner. I'm having the same autopilot issue I had in the cam air. It's stuck on. That sounds like a, a button conflict. I just saw that. Hang on. 85 knots. Uh, the site of the Wilson Prom Lighthouse is also a AAF radar station during the World War. Okay, cool. I'll join the war. Let's roll upside down and see if the engine dies. I've already crashed twice. I'm not going to do it here in the water. Um, I don't know whether it was. I, I, I know I can do a roll. But I don't know if I can stay inverted, if that's what you mean. So yeah, it probably would conk out. Yeah, you must have a button um, issue. I'm doing uh, 85 flat out. Well, I'm doing 84, 83, uh, it, whatever's blowing me along, I'm bouncing between 80, three and five. I'll bring it back to 80. But I must be getting a, a tailwind here. Yes, the engine dials are, dies upside down, says Dale. Yeah. 
1 a.m. here, mate. Microsoft Flight Simulator 2020 videos had to bail. All right, cool. Go and have a sleep. Thank you very much for jumping in. Uh, once daylight saving comes, it'll actually be a two-hour difference between us um, than before. So, which means I'll start even one hour earlier for you, um, which should be good. I'm still sticking on my 9 a.m. start, uh, so 9 a.m. for me. Um, so hopefully that's working for you. Now what did I say the gypsy? Maybe I didn't call it gypsy. Tiger moth, tiger moth, uh, ah, there was a DH-80A pus moth I did, yep. Yeah. I did. Here we go. DH60G Gypsy Moth. Hmm. Not a spanner. Michael just had a crash to desktop again. Why did you have a crash to desktop? What happened? Hmm. Gypsy Moth one was a conversion, freeware stuff. That was cool. Okay. We are, where are we? Almost there, to be honest. Might bring this in around coastline more. I've never been down here. I hear lots of people go this way for uh, holidays and stuff. It's pretty good. Um, do you know what's causing the crash? Is Do you have the latest driver? Anybody else got the latest driver and having no problems? Or having crashes? Either way. Because I'm, I'm kind of ignoring it at the moment, trying not to go for the latest NVIDIA driver. Uh, I was doing this flight plan too. Okay. Um, yeah, I don't know. Hey, 69 of you girls are here, aren't you? Who's first? Who's first? Oh, no, Zenon got it. Oh, man, I thought I got that. I pressed it. I pressed ban. And Zenon beat me. There's one. That's for There we go. Pizza, 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 pizza. Pizza. That's running fine for Stu. Okay. I don't know. I don't know whether to do it. Just one of the other people are having it. Yeah, on your Z. It's pretty quick. It's pretty quick. Jerry says, I'm running the latest NVIDIA driver, no problem so far. Right. Well, maybe I'll give it a go. I've, I've had no problem previously um, with the latest drivers on my latest video card, the 3090 Ti. But when it comes to um, 1080, uh, yeah, I had problems when I, I stopped. Big Jacko rolled his uh, back his end. Yes, uh, he was saying that, and it seems to be no problem so far. Um, but he's got 3080. I don't know if it's a TI, but it's a 3080. He shouldn't be having that kind of problem. So I'm wondering if it's conflicting with something else. Um, like you and I were talking, I did offer to help. He'd rolled it back, and he's like, well, it seems to be working, so we'll give that a go. Okay, cool. I'm sitting at 81 knot, maybe. No, 80 knot. 79 knots. Okay. The, t the turn towards this may have changed the wind or we're getting in here. But 
You can tell how much you get affected by the wind on these things. Alright, see, I can see Steve's plane, but I can't see Gammy Wombat's. And I think Steve's further away. I don't know. Who's been to Wilson's Promontory? It is a TI. Alright. I have a uh, 38 TI and I've been getting chatters. As in, crash to desktops. Where's the lighthouse? On the other side of the, uh, well, kind of actually almost straight ahead of where I am. So, um, it's on the south east side of the uh, peninsula here. climb a few hundred more feet everything is updated yeah it's uh, just part of the game I've gotten used to it it comes and goes <laughs> me nearly drowned there um, where are you going mr. flying frog are you following you're actually way out I know this you're actually Oh, your, your flight plan might be a fraction out, that's right. Well, almost never. Oh, the uh, the skipping. Oh, no, no, no. Um, Big Jacko is, is crashing, like holding and freezing and crashing. Um, I had one when I started playing around with a map website, and um, it, it, it shut down my whole sim. Uh, I don't know what I was doing there. Um, oh, you're sightseeing. Okay. And um, it, it, it crashed. It's like the first one in like 12 months, um, which is pretty cool. Um, but it happened with a new NVIDIA driver. Not the new one, the, the previous one, which is what I'm on now. Maybe I'll up, update. Wait, how did Gimme Wombat overtake me so fast? Jacko needs a good computer tech. I actually offered to help him. Um, uh, he rolled back to drive and says it's going well. But I, I seem to have been able to build mine and set it up stable. Like I said, one crash to desktop. Only the latest driver uh, in like almost 12 months of streaming, which is really good. He is Prince Lou. He is a Prince Lou. That sounded like an F-14. Probably. Oh, Fruden. Burn. Burn. I saw that. Somebody just uh, slewed over the top of me. I saw somebody's um, or somebody's plane go pew, way over in the map. Alright, so there should be a lighthouse down here somewhere. I haven't got a, He is. He is the Prince Slew. He's the king of the Slews. What are you talking about? That Prince. Oh, there it is. I see the lighthouse. Alright. Put my head out this side. There it is. Back it off and do a dive. And great, I can watch the things in the front while I'm leaning out here. If I can't see my knots here, I can actually look at the one at the front. 
And it looks like that tiny little bit of area there is photogrammetry. As opposed to this uh, other part here. And I think it's downloading. Wow, it shows you just how fast we are actually flying. Didn't seem that fast. What's the problem? Okay. I don't know what all the fuss is about. I'll do another loop around here. Get everybody uh, back in. Yes, he do, does need to work out what's going on with his computer. Um, especially if we want him to... Uh, not have to, or not not have a crash. That kind of sucks. Do you need to work out why I can't? Oh, I'm not going to look back there. Why I can't see everybody? I'm going to have to see Steve. Gaming Wombat has landed. He's walking up there. Oh, I hear a jet. Somebody's in a jet. No, he did fly by. Oh, you got to be kidding! I got done again. Like somebody's in a jet. Somebody's in a jet. I can tell. I can hear. Nope. All right, on Steve's tail. Bring him in and oh no. Do the lead and guns, 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 guns. Actually, keep an eye out. I'm going to be doing some more IL-2. Ooh, did Peach Lemon just bounce? I think he did. Dang, you'd almost land in that yard there. A bit of a headwind there. Well done. Okay. Yay yeah, for a cliff. Managed to land second try. Okay. What happened the first try? No land or crash? All right, take my little lawnmower motor. Fly away. Oop, there is everybody popping out of the other side of the hill. You have been here, you remember this flight. Right. I don't remember flying. Well, I don't remember who's flown around here. But there's probably been some people. I don't know if uh, Rice has done it or Big Jacko or Ozflight. Oh, somebody just did a. Uh, Slew onto my tail. What happened there? Aaron, I saw that. Kitbox. That's probably about the same speed as the peach lemon above me. No, it's the one behind me. Remember the lighthouse in the hard left? Yeah, I must have missed that flight from whoever was doing it. Um, but that is pretty cool. Now we're going to make our way back off the bomb. Promontory. Yeah, I, I don't know. Maybe... Um, apparently it's pretty famous. It's my first time actually being there. Um, Gammy did a flight around here. Yes! That would be about right, yeah. I need to uh, climb here. Not gonna climb. 
Just do it by hand. Uh, oh, Willie Canuck. Yeah, okay. I don't know when Willie streams. I've, I've seen his at like, for me, about 11 at night, I think. Or midnight. All this water, and I have not seen one boat ship even uh, with the world shipping mod on. There is no marine traffic around this part of the world. Um, crossing over the... From where we took off, I saw ships. But no, they won't be here. Uh, they will be back behind us. Um, uh, actually, the only path would be behind where... Near where we took off. Um, and we crossed over towards Phillip Island. Um, the, just that straight for the entry into uh, Port Melbourne. Uh, anything after that? No. You're not going to see them down here. Um, it's pretty rough water, actually. Um, Bass Strait, between Tasmania. So I live, I live, uh, where? Which way are we flying? I You'll be flying. back! You haven't seen the oh. last of Willie! Stu, mate, gotta go, alright. I love that sound effect for you. It works really well. You'll be back. Have a good night, sleep, mate. I can't remember too many flights in the same year. It's like that. Remember again with Wombat and... Boy, am I way older than you. Wait, what? I remember. Oh. Well... I would like to say I have done a lot of streaming and I don't remember them all but I have oh my god do I have that many eight hundred and ninety four streams Eight hundred and ninety four streams. Wait, what? We uh, streams on Thursdays about two PM my time, which uh, would make it about six AM your time on Friday. Uh, no, four AM your time. Okay. I, I think I've seen Willie's um, streams in my feed and they're already gone, yeah. Now I'm cutting across here, but I'm actually cutting... We should be heading more towards Jerry. Jerry looks like he's uh, following the flight plan direct. He's actually on it. <laughs> that's a lot, says Gammy Wombat. Mate! No, that's, that is that is just streams. Videos, I've got even more. It's ridiculous. Um, videos says I've got... Wait, what? No, that says only 345 videos. That's not right. Well, 345 pages of videos. Three twenty-six. I got more videos than that. Keep on about. What though? That's a lot of streaming. Oh my god. Peach Lemon's trying to get the flight plan. No, maybe I've got less videos than I have streaming. Okay. Brett plays, the streamer, who also does videos. <laughs> I thought it was the other way around.
quick look get down to that last hey no there's more videos than that oh it's not showing them that's why 400 yeah no that's why okay it was not showing it oh hang on i can find out on my on my page let's have a look you go to is it about there we go no that's just a view okay i don't know how many videos i've got let's have a look uh whoa 1554 uploads Yeah, okay. That's more like it. 1,500. Oh, my God. Uh, total uh, total hours of streaming. Does anyone... Um, does it give you that? Ooh, yes. No, wait. Streaming. No. I don't think it gives you that, but you would have to say out of those 837, is it really 837? Um, most of them will be three hours. Got to duck out to the pharmacy. All right, Zenon, mate, I will jump onto the bots because my headmaster with the cane, that's you, um, is out to the pharmacy. Yeah, it's a lot. And I've only been doing it for two years. Two years? Oh, are we getting a headwind? Tailwind. We're actually going faster. And it wasn't actually full. Which is pretty good. T45, alright. <coughs> <coughs> yeah, plan is to go full time. Um, when I say full time, I am going to do some afternoon streaming too because there's some people that get up pretty early for these. Um, uh, and I'll probably change that to some mornings and afternoons. Different content though. Let me just find out blow my nose. I'll be back in a second. Eight hundred plus streams over two years, or so more than one day. Am I two years? Two and a bit years. Uh, yeah, that's sad. Well, okay, some of the streams. Uh, there's a couple of streams that may have um, skipped, like. Uh, it broke in half and I had to restream, so I counted too. So there might, there might be 20 or 30 of those. Um, T2C Buckeye is interesting. Uh, more information there, thanks, Peach Lemon. Over two years, more than one day. How, well, hang on, how long have I been going for? Is it? Um, so I started streaming somewhere about December, no, August. Hang on, I started in July, August, September, about October of 2020. So where are we now? Yeah, two years. 
Wow, 837? Streams? Really? Really, YouTube? Do I really do that much? No, it's come down. I pressed the next and it's now down to 777. I didn't think I'd done that much streaming. Because that would be like, no way. Oh, now it's down to 697. It doesn't know how many I did. Now it's down to 597. I didn't do that many. Ah. You suck, YouTube. Making me out to be a more of a streamer than I thought I was. All right, come on, I gotta find gotta find the final number. I'm back to April 2021. Oh the number is still going back up now. Oh, okay. And we're still going. Okay, no. Saying about 448. There we go, 448. No, that's it. 26th of October, I did my first stream. I tested the F35A uh, FSX conversion plane. Um, tested in 720, then I tested the YF23 um, in 1080 with ejection. Then I tested the Harrier stream all on the same day uh, in 1440p um, just to see what uh, they do. And so 448. There you go. That's a better number. All right. What's that? Once every couple of days? Couple of days. Why did the number go down? I don't know. So, so YouTube goes, uh, it'll show you how many rows per, per um, list of your videos. And it said 30, so I changed it to 50 so I can get more per list. When I press the next page, it went, um, you know, 50 to 100 of, and it puts a number. Every time I went further up, that number came down until it got to about 400, then it went back up to 448. Because it, it it doesn't calculate the real number until you actually start getting closer and goes, oh wait, about this many. Which is stupid. So, um, yeah. 448 live streams. Some of them are short. Like, when I did those first testing in 1080p, I did 8 minute 56. Then I did some hour ones, then I did some hour and a half ones, um, tried some trucking, my internet was terrible back then, so some videos got cut in half, uh, one lasted 12 minutes, I went no. Nah. Um, but once we got it stable, yeah, three hours, two hours, 50, yeah. A bop the like button, that's a good way of putting it, or caress it, or, or, or look after it what I would say. But as far as videos here, yeah, I put a lot more out than... Um, the idea will be to go five days a week. Uh, it was shocking back then. Oh mate, my internet was terrible. Terrible! That's why I put lots of videos out. And I'd spend overnight, like a whole entire night, uploading this video, and then it would spend a day processing, and then finally you get to see it. Look at this place. It's pretty flat here. I think everybody else is uh, heading directly for the airport there, are they? Yeah, Jerry was along for the ride for a lot of it. Mobile phone, mate. Oh, yes, I had to run outside and climb up a ladder and put my mobile phone up against the uh, top of my shed just to get enough um, reception. 
And now, now I've got my mobile phone with a new data plan. And last time I looked, let's have a look. Um, where is it? That one there. The last time I looked, I had about 1.2 terabyte of, of data available. Oh, of course, it wants me to log in again. Always making me log in. Don't log me out. if that's the password. Nope. All right, I'll work it out later. Where's the galley in the plane? Mate, yeah, we, we needed to stop off for a coffee, didn't we? Maybe what we'll do is we'll have a, uh, a short break here at this one here, pilot's room, and then we'll do the final 45 minutes or so uh, up to the entrance. Can I move my map? No. Yeah, it's only a 45 minute flight or thereabouts. Alright. Let's zoom in. Yesterday at the bar, the Wi Fi was so bad I couldn't run. Oh, mate. <laughs> yeah, thanks. Yeah, we, well, our in internet was pretty bad. Dye the like button white by initiating a clicking motion with your finger on a mouse or touchpad device, therefore giving the thumbs up shape button a color similar to white. There you go. Almost fired up a hotspot on my cell phone for some decent speed. Yeah. Well, Starlink has been uh, a blessing as far as my internet has gone. Um, I am only still running this in, I think, 1080, 30 frames a second. Um, I don't want to do 60 yet because it chews up more um, data and I wanted everything to be stable, but so far so good. Peach Lemon says, I'm hoarding the gas station. I don't think I need fuel. I, I did top it up. Let's have a look. No, we're good. Down to 94% oil though. Can remember to uh, fix that. No one can afford the gas. Yes, I saw a video on YouTube the other day of some guys doing some drag racing. Um, it was a Mustang versus a WRX um, Subaru. And the guy is standing in the middle of the road and he goes, Right, you ready, Mustang? Rum, rum, rum. You ready, Subaru? Rum, rum, rum. And then he goes, Go! And they both jump out of the cars and they run down the road. Because they couldn't afford to drive it. Your course. Drag racing, your course. I actually went back in the room and unplugged the router modem and plugged it back in. That fixed it. There you go. Uh, but if you use the thumbs up, are you considered it as old? Apparently, Gen Z doesn't like thumbs up. They find it offensive. Apparently, according to some study of young people. I don't know, do we have any young people in the uh, chat? When I say young, it's, it's, it was between 16 and 29 year olds who think thumbs up, when they get, a, get given a thumbs up, it's uh, rude and offensive and only old, old people do that. I wish the 245 had some motor effects. Oh, okay. Yeah, William, I take the VR flight sim to the Moose Lodge. Uh, if there are going to be people uh, there so they can try it. Yeah, why not? Peach Demon says, I'm Gen Z. Are you offended by that thumbs up button? Still like to use it. There you go. See, I thought it was all full of garbage, but it, it actually made it into some, some well, I don't know about reputable, but some uh, newspapers, uh, 
No, it wasn't even on newspaper, it was on digital media, digital print, of course. Um, ridiculous article saying that, uh, yeah, using thumbs up as a response uh, is harmful for the young people because it, it hurts their feelings. Wah. Nothing I like more than seeing a look on someone's face after they experience VR for the first time. Yes! Yeah, so do you run it off a laptop, I'm guessing? Um, because that would make sense. And if so, what system do you have for your laptop? So what, um, what's, uh, stats? What video card, what, um, processor? Because I'm just thinking, I wonder if mine would do it. Um, mine has a 1660 Ti, I think. Uh, I think it's only an i5. I don't know what, what i5 though. Yes, you use a laptop, yep, cool. Just thinking I could probably take it down the house and, and show other people. <laughs> I hate my generation, but anyway. Do we sound like a whole bunch of old people complaining though? When we talk about that. I just think it's like, you know what? Um, or maybe we just get old enough to not, not care. But um, the world doesn't revol revolve around everybody's feelings. You know, your feelings are going to get hurt. They do. Right, which way is the runway? Is it the one that's kind of worn out or is it the sideways one? Have they got a new one or am I going to be landing on the taxiway? I have no real idea here. I'm just going to land anyway. Uh, it's about the same as my last desktop. Oh wait, it's an i7-9700 with a 28. Oh, 2080 helps. Yeah. So there's a grass strip, but then there's a side strip. I'm, I'm thinking I'll go the side strip. Since it goes longer, past the end there, yeah, I'd say that'd be... Alright, so what we'll do is we'll get our head out the side. Anti-stall. Strip on. Hopefully I'm not coming in with another tailwind. It'll take a few minutes for those who want to go get a coffee and, and use the uh, restroom. Alright, well we're down at 50 knots. One bounce, and it's, we definitely got a crosswind. All right. I think that was a fairly successful landing. Bring those uh, anti-flip. Things in again. Is that music too loud for you guys? All right. Welcome to life. Yeah, that's it. Uh, they're just trying to redefine everything as part of the process. Oh, yeah, okay. Once I'm gone, they can call it whatever they like. Uh, also know, uh, known as the OK sign. Uh, that's how considered it is now considered offensive. Wait, the OK sign? Uh, oh, yeah, the fingers. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, and the... Uh, even a tick? I, I, I don't get it. I'll give it a six. Hey, I got a Rudin six. A Rudin six is like a 9.8 from in anybody else's books. Um, I think you have to get a seven to, to get like a, basically a perfect landing. 
The music is a little bit loud. Maybe it's just that particular song. Can't see all the planes. Don't know why. You reckon this bus is going to run me over? No, they're going. Alright. See, I can't see anybody else. I saw people were here. Buses is going straight to the fuel bowser. Alright, we'll take a few minutes to sit here and um, use the bathroom, pour yourself a cup of coffee, and then we've got another, may not even be hard, um, 45 minutes. Steve's back, welcome back, mate. We're at, uh, where are we? Yarram. We are at Yarram at the moment, and then we've got 131 kilometres to fly for our remaining flight. So, quick intermission, toilet break. Tail drag is a whole different uh, grading scheme. You didn't wreck it. That's worth at least a six. All right, good. Why so many buses? Why why the one bus there? Park of the fuel bowser. Saying no, you shall not pass. Um, why can I only see one person playing? Did everybody else take off? Maybe they did, maybe they're near me. See Aaron, I can't see Aaron is invisible. Don't know. Coming to get job, man. Um Flight sim, I've noticed the last, well, I guess it's probably since they moved to the new server, I'm losing half the planes in view. I've had it one other time before. I don't know, we'll, we'll try it uh, again in the future. But um, only a few minutes to stop there. Does anybody else need a more time to finish making a coffee or something? Ryan or Bush pilot fame got himself a kit fox. And is coming to grips with the tail dragon wayward land, uh, handling. 
I don't feel so bad at my rubbish simming. Yeah, yeah. If you can get a tail dragger down okay in the sim, and you're not a real pilot. Oh wait, you're back. I am. Oh mate, we need the. <laughs> we don't do tents here. Anybody know what we're talking about? If anybody saw uh, Ozflight Simmer's stream last night? A whole bunch of moderators got themselves uh, timed out for spam in the chat. All right, which way have we got to go? It's that way, isn't it? I reckon there's enough airport to take off there. Oh, that's where all the other players' names are. All right, people are rolling. Icarus is, I think Icarus just took off in the steam in the other way. I think it was 67, 68 feet. Yeah, he did. Steam and you can, I mean, these things you can take off anywhere. Danger bird's coming around. He's probably like, oh, I was just about to get a, <laughs> maybe a couple more. You know what? I'm going to get that tent mod and I'm going to, uh, I'm going to do some streaming where we go camping. I just, Got to work out where to get it from now. Hang on, there's another steerman coming in. Again, I can't see it. Well, while you sing, lady, I'm going to go and find out if there's traffic. Shown name tags, yes. Aircraft type, real time online. Thank you. Everything else, okay. Uh, Right, use generic aircraft models and AI traffic on. If I don't use generic aircraft models AI, show multiplayer aircraft in close proximity. Let's try turning that on. Wait, does that mean when I get within a certain range that turns it off? Is that new? Or does that just mean it doesn't uh, it doesn't blank them out? Oh, flying frog left me. Okay, see you, mate. Um, nah, see, look, they're still invisible. That just means it doesn't uh, disappear. I don't know. It was crazy, to be honest. Break go bye bye. Wait, what? No, I pressed escape for a second. Fozzie was one of, oh yes. <laughs> yeah, it's probably because Fozzie put six dresses in. And then everybody put dresses in. Nah, see, still can't see everybody. Is there something else that uh, is preventing us from viewing each other's planes? I mean, I can see the flying frog. Uh, and I could see a bunch of tiger moss before, but then they disappear. I don't know. Yep, I'm getting the camping mod too. Just waiting for a sale in the sim market to happen. Is it on the sim market? Oh, wait. Is that where it is? What is it under? Because I couldn't find it. What do you mean, Sim Market website? It's in the, 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 the marketplace called simmarket.com. It was over the top. Yeah, yeah, it got a bit, it got a bit much. Um, and I am a mod, and but I was unable to stop them. I actually tried, to be honest. I'm like, no, no, come on, guys, too much. And it was. And when he got back, he was like, no. Nah. And one foul swoop of the button pressed and boom, off all, all go those uh, over the top messages. Hashtag tiny trees. Woohoo! 
thought it was on Orbix. Oh, right, okay. I'll go and have a look at Orbix later. Um, I'm also going to finish my Canada... Wait, I haven't got my camera on. You don't need my camera on at the moment. Um, I'm going to finish my Canada flight in the Twin Navion, I think. Um, like I was saying before, we're going to give some away on Sunday. So I'm going to... Um, the, the developers are uh, offering to give some away. So I'm going to actually uh, do that. I may end up um, talking with them about giving out... Uh, a different number. This is offered a few. Uh, Orbix is $25. Okay, cool. Uh, so the camp mod uh, in game market. What? Sorry, the camp mod in game market is $22.95 and Orbix is $25. So it's in sim as well. What is it under? Because I didn't, I didn't see it. Peach Lemon, mate, did you just land in the trees? You weren't expecting me to turn the camera around, were you? Who's one ugly mother? What are you talking about? Oh, which airport was that? Uh, YYRM. Uh, Yankee Yankee uh, Romeo Mike. Let me put that in chat. There we go. YYRM. Sorry. Uh, look for Parallel 42 on MP. Okay, cool. There we go. I think I want to get back down to the uh, trees. Look at that, a hundred knots. Oh my God, that's fast. It's only because I'm diving. <laughs> we won't keep that. Ooh, we might need to keep an eye out for some of these trees. Peach lemon. I never tell my secrets. Yeah, you got caught on camera that one. Surely this is the way Tiger Moth was made to be flown. Hmm, I was just thinking that was pretty close to my, my wing there. Look under activities. I'll do a search in marketplace uh, and use camp. Okay, cool. I'll do that. I think, to be honest, I think on a chill stream Friday night, um, it'll be a bit of fun just to go find some places to uh, fly and camp. I mean, imagine flying a tiger moth around New Zealand and just looking for somewhere to land. Although, tiger moths are not necessarily the same as a kit fox or something for landing in places, but it'd still be a lot of fun. I only use my tail hook to go fishing for tiger moths. How are you now? Oh, there's a few of them around. Okay, yes, that is pretty low. Trees look good. I think Icarus is right there, but I can't see plane. Very disappointed with that. Come on, Sim. Fix up your servers. Go glamping. Yeah, that's, that's the way. Fruit and Test started Sim, and the dog started barking, so I missed it. 
All right, uh, dog is still acting a fool. <coughs> oh, excuse me. So I wrote it in um, YYRM. So the last two, if you put in exclamation mark flight plan, it's the last two airport points that we're flying to and from. Tell you what, pretty good environment down here. You know, I think they've done really well with these Australian trees. And like when you've got different ones around houses like that, because you know, people plant their own natural stuff. That's meant to be a shed. Zoom in. Whoop, not too far. There we go. And I'll probably put the camera back on. There we go. Cool. Hello, everybody. I need to drop my bomb attachments. Yeah, yeah. Get rid of them. Let's throw it around a bit. Oh, everybody is with me here. Well, hopefully uh, in the next uh, updates, we will actually be able to see everything. I'll try and do some online research, find out why other planes disappear. Kenzo and Steve are flying over there. Because everybody can see everybody else? Or is it just me who can't see? Some people can't see planes on the world map. Oh, right, let me show you what I'm seeing. Right, there we go. So, I, I see a whole bunch of planes uh, all around me. And if I go further out, I even see them like someone's already up at the end there. Oh, my God, that was close over the trees. So, there's no rhyme or reason. We don't know yet why. Uh, what is this airport? Oh, I thought you landed. Um, we are going to YLKE, so y, YYRM to YLKE. How am I getting 85 knots out of this? Oh, I just dove down, that's why. But how am I still getting 80 something knots at about 18, 1900 RPM? Whoa, that's really low. We probably just went that way fast. Replay is the start screen. Wait, hang on, what did I miss there? I can see all, oh, not bad for a blind fella. <laughs> yes. So the Xbox is connecting. I mean, I could see everybody when I started off, but not now. All right, we're probably about, ooh, trees. Oh, look at that, like an oasis. Actually, I do need to fly this way more. People behind me are probably like, where is he going? Try and follow that uh, magenta line a little bit. There we go, look out the side. Actually, I've got some other views that I did set up. There we go. How cool is that look? Do that for a bit. Mm, it shakes around a little bit. You stable now? Okay, cool. Um, I'll probably go back through Bone Lab and try find all the title poke dolls. What is that? Are we talking about some sort of Pokemon thing? Found a Super Cub mod by Got Gravel in FlightSim.to. It's pretty cool and very grunty for a cub something, Kit Foxy, uh, but free. I did do a review on it. 
um, it's the one with the four blades and it's got a um, souped up engine. Uh, so yeah. Oh, look at that nose view. Or front pilot view. There we go, front pilot view. That one's actually been out for quite a while. They've got um, uh, ones with super wheels, with uh, smaller wheels, and then the, the standard. Yeah, I'm at your 11 o'clock high. I'm not going to see from this view, are we? Yep, I can see you. See, I can see your plane. No problem. Everybody else's planes have been problematic, although I've been able to see Steve most of the time. Um, and at one time I saw Ken, no problem. M Fist and the H135, not a chance. Hawk in, uh, sorry, Peach Lemon in the Hawk, nope. Jerry, yeah, I saw Jerry when we were at the airport. Um, but I can't see Danger Bird, I think he's changed planes. I haven't been able to see Icarus the whole night in the Stearman. Both of them in Stearman. Wait, is there an update for the Stearman? Does it mean if you can't, if you don't have the update? Whoa, power lines. Brett just went through those power lines. Oh my god. I have a power line mod, and if you hit them, it can knock you out of the sky. I went through the gap. Okay, it might help to actually watch where we're going. You think? Um. A new vertigo as in they updated it cool uh, you'll find the camp out utility under world in the marketplace price 2245 thank you Michael I shall go and check that out um, yeah I saw a review uh, on YouTube on the update and it's uh, way overpowered for its size is that the not the new um, carbon fiber one that's like a mark one plane that's deliberately overpowered. Ah, okay. Bone Lab's a game, is it? All the items are game. Uh, guns and everything have these little balls hidden uh, everywhere, and you need to find so that you ha have that object in the sandbox. Right. That was trippy, mate. Vruden. The fact that I survived, that I I had this on uh, basically just hold altitude um, autopilot, so my my pilot's just holding that. Um, the fact that I actually survived going through the power lines, amazing. Uh, usually it would have been a smack. Acted manager invited you to their group. Thank you, acted manager. Um, probably not while I'm streaming, but. Uh, if you want to come and join me, you can find me on the map. I hit one, says Aaron. Oh no. Wait, am I last again? I am too. Everybody's, everybody's gone in front of me. Alright. I need to get this off the screen. Uh, the Mirage was also updated. The Mirage has been updated a couple of times, which is good. Um, I've not gone back to do the videos on the updates. Uh, there is one that um, uh, one of the um, oh, this is the front cockpit. That's why one of the uh, developers has said, "Hey, we've really updated this one. You should go check it out again." I will probably make a video on that too, um, but I haven't got back to that yet either. Um, but I don't make a lot of update videos on them. Uh, See, Xbox is a better system than, uh, no, 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 not necessarily. Um, I'm going to butter this landing. The fact that you're in front of me and not behind me, I can't tell. So I guess somebody also had to say whether you butted or not. I was behind you. Oh, that's why. Absolutely love the Tiger Moth. It's a great, so chill to fly and great for sightseeing. Yeah, it is. Oops. And you can get down really low and make these little tufts of trees an actual something to go around. How cool is that? 
I mean, you can do that in other planes, but usually you're, you're going too fast and you're probably not going to bother. But in a Tiger Moth, it feels right. Swooping uh, people on the cornfields feels like a, uh, you're reenacting a movie. Let's put the head out of the right hand side for a change. Look how cool this is. You watch, I'm gonna hit the ground, aren't I? <laughs> you just know it. Look how cool this is. Smack. Yeah, this is actually pretty cool. Um, a little bit obscure, Lake's entrance. Yeah, it's not a main, not a main airport. Yes, I agree. Gammy support bat. Oh yeah, he's back in his gammy support bat. I must be damn pretty low. Yep, there we go. I can't hear my plane. Did I turn it? Whoa. Did I turn it down? Let's turn that up. There we go. Alright, there's some trees that are a little bit tall, aren't they? Uh, no, generally we're pretty good. Hold that level, maybe take another 100 feet. There you go. Uh. Camp out utility from 42, yes. Uh, is that what you're getting soon? Yes, Aaron, I will get that and I'm going to implement that in some flights where we can just land and pop out some uh, camp gear stuff and that's where we'll have our um, break. So what we might do is we might fly for a bit, land somewhere cool, put out our camp gear, change it to, to evening or night, go and get a cup of coffee, come back, run it through the night to morning, pack our gear back up, jump in the plane, fly to somewhere new, do the same again a couple of times. Um, you know, a three hour stream, or if we go more, I don't know, but a three hour stream, we could probably land three times, you know, every 20 minutes or so. I think it'd be pretty cool. Internet did uh, have a little bit of a, a wiggle wiggle there. Oh, we are running down the coastline. A solo pilot here. Michael says, see you next time on Brett Plays Stream from Michael going out to lunch with Malcolm. All right, mate, you go and enjoy, look after yourselves. Staggering was also a good aircraft, yes. Need to turn off... Done. Need to turn off name tags and find the airport on your own, you cheater. <laughs> oh look, it comes with a plane. Oh look, it's just me. Just me out here. Oh my god. <laughs> See you, Michael, mate. Camp out is great. Get me one, but you got that, mate. Have you? I haven't seen it. Alright, anybody seen an airport? What I might do, where is it? There it is. Everybody's in front of me. I'm going to go over the coastline. 
Oh, look at that. 100 knots and a dive. Woohoo! I'm going to fly across this uh, lake part and run up the coastline because the lake's entrance is right near the. Uh, what is it called? Airport. Yeah, yeah. Uh, airstrip, probably. It says, hey, it's called Lake's Entrance for a reason. Yes, I have it, but uh, not made any videos with it yet, just experimenting. Cool. I want to do streaming with it. And I'm thinking on our Friday night chill fest, which we've been doing um, a fair bit of those, about 7.30 um, on a Friday night, uh, get together, we get into open mic, so we jump on the Discord and we actually all talk. And um, I think what we'll do is we'll just get something that can land wherever, including those freeware stuff. And um, yes, they have aircraft there, don't they? Yeah, yeah. Funny that. Um, yeah, and we'll just we'll just uh, do it. H have some uh, land and, and camp, and and uh, you know. Spend that as a time to go refill your drinks or your snacks. I think that'll work really well. I'm by myself now, Bruden. I have no name tags and I can't see the other planes. Admittedly, we, we are a fair way from the airport when you're going this slow, so there we go. Put some name tags back on. I do have a built-in GPS, so I can find it. Uh, I just got the camp out utility. Aaron's like, oh, I love that idea. I'm going to do that. I'll go buy it. Did you buy it from the marketplace or from Orbix? Furious. Not asking for a friend. For me. Wow, I can hear my... My GPUs um, fans increasing. So we go over certain places where I, I change screens, hear them woo woo a little bit of a, they start increasing. But we're only sitting at 61%, uh, sorry, 61 degrees Celsius. 38 to 41% usage. Orbix, okay. Uh, 25 on Orbix. What am I flying over? Oh, again, no way. Do you know what they've done? They've fixed it so that all the name tags show no problem. But they're not allowing the planes to show all the time now. So it seems. I'll experiment going back to DirectX 11 and see if that uh, does a change. Sailing into Port Phillip Bay on a cruise ship was amazing. I've done it on the Spirit of Taz a few times. Port Phillip? No, Port Melbourne, wait, Port Phillip Bay. Which one's Port Phillip Bay? Bridge? You reckon I can go under? Oh, there's a lump of water there. No! There was a lump of water there. Can we actually go under that? I'm trying that again. See how there's this like lump of water that goes up. I'm going under again. I'm going under. All right, I'm down lower this time. Okay, that was my fault. I hit my tail. US uh, 15. Okay. Right, you suck again. That's three times I've crashed. 
Three times! Rip! I know! It's Tiger Moth. Alright, so I do need to work out why my um, other players are not showing up. I know, three crashes. I need a crash meter. There we go, Xenon. My crash meter. Oh my god, I'm gonna be like Big Jacko. Needing a crash meter. That's not cool. Oh, that's not the view. Hey, where's my door open? Who opened my door? Because I crashed. It's gone down a bit. Fuel's uh, going. Oh, well, you know what? We'll have enough to get there, I'm sure. We might not check just in case. Yeah, 15 litres, 20%. We'll be right. Check out Big Jacko. If you want to see crashes, go check it out. Although, Dave, you, you do crash a fair bit. Wow, well, I was going to lower 100 feet, but I think that'll actually put me in the drink. I am at 100 feet. Overtaking a spearman. Is he coming back the other way? He's coming in behind me there. Danger bird and uh, Ecos are both in the spearman. I can't see them. Shame on you, internet. Oh, so loud. Yeah, yeah, those ones, that one's pretty loud, actually. Big Jacko's ones are loud. Let me do one more thing. Uh, what have we got here? Uh, group invitation peach lemon. Sorry, mate. And sorry, mate. Nope. Uh, no. No. How many times have I got to reject it? No. I've got 182, 196. I wonder if it's. I'm going to go to East. East USA for a um, um, uh, I'm going to see if uh, changing back on servers uh, puts back in the players. Hey, it's just like having name tags off, isn't it? And west? No, that went to North Europe. You tricky thing. 135, that's better. Resume. Alright, let's see if that uh, helps pick a few things on and off. Looks like there's already some people landed. L so Y L K E. Lakes entrance. Alright, names back on. People in front of me. Equal says paused. I think he might have been trying to change as well. It's nice right here though, white beaches. They're all popping up with what type of aircraft they are, but you can't see them from this distance. You can't see Icarus either.
I don't think you can find the airport. Who? Who? What? Me? No, airport. We're only halfway between here and the last place. Here, let me show you what I'm looking at. I've got the Urea bar map. Um, we're only halfway between, well, a bit over halfway now between YYRM and YLKE. Um, but as far as here goes, I, I know that I just go on the other side of the lake and it's there. Or there. Wait, I may end up landing the wrong airport if I do this. Yeah, gotta make sure I don't land at that one. So yes, that would be cheating having that there. But you don't need to because you've actually got one built in. Woohoo! cool view. I guess if you're you're in VR you can actually look out the back. I mean you wouldn't want to for very long unless you got your uh, whole level and vertical. Hold heading and hold altitude. Or we get down even lower. So you're talking about that camping thing? You can camp along here anywhere. Imagine landing your planes in there and just putting down a tent Awesome. Especially if we were flying somewhere where we go, right, it's, it's almost dark. And we're like, we need to put down somewhere. Set up. Jerry come back for me. Right there. Well, he was. He's behind me. What? In a... Oh, he's in the Mirage. Yes, the Icon A5 light. Yes, yeah, so you'd, you'd rock up and just like up to the edge of the water there. But you can do that in anything with floats. Or, if we're landing on any bush pad, or opening. How cool would that be? Let me go over to this side. Jerry's running around, circles around me now in the garage. people living out here the hard life tell you what Starlink solar panels living out here I could stream from living out here shark tooth ridge looks nice is that shark tooth ridge is that Oh, because it's all jagged? 
Yeah, okay, because you can look on the, the map there, it's all jagged. Wait, is that... that's the ridge there, isn't it? Or is both this? It does look pretty cool. Oh wow, we've gone over the three hour mark, all right? Well, we're a few minutes away, maybe it'll be a three and a half hour flight. Try to stick to around the three hour mark for most people so they know what they're getting. Bridge down. I'm guessing there is a bridge across there. Not at the moment, there's not. That's pretty cool. Oh wait, what? Shark Tooth Ridge looks nice from 42. Oh, not that place. Oh, I thought that's what you're talking about. Let me have a look what it is called. Seacomb or Locksport? Locksport. An ocean grange is where we're going to now. Yeah, yeah, from 42. Oh, okay, I understand what I'm saying. Parallel 40, 42 now. Yeah. Is it an actual place to go to or something? Is what you're saying? Yep, there we go. Find out what these messages are. Right, I did get your message also, Icarus, on uh, Discord. Um, I'll get back to you on that as well. And also, um, Xenon may have got your message. Looks um, nice here. Can't tell where everybody is, though, unless you go in here and look on the map. So, guessing the airport is that way. But that's good, because I'm already following that way. Demon boys are over that side. Painesville. We're going past Painesville and Meetum and into Lake's entrance. So part of that was Lake Wellington we just went past. What's the rest of this? Still part of Lake Bonington? No, Wollaston Bay. Oh, there's a whole bunch of different bays. Jones Bay, Eagle Point Bay. And Lake Wellington might actually be further down. Lake Coleman. Can't see the actual name. Housing over there. Where's your living there? How cool is that? Let's go up and have a look. Let's have a look at what we've got here. Look at that. There's Rudin. He's like, you guys are too slow. I can I can catch up. I'll just jump in. H145. Now that's had an update as well.
Danger Bird says he's in the shows up now is in the DH-82. He's back in the Tiger Moth. Side there, go down and follow that coastline. I think. Go down the beach. PC case too short for GPU. Need to change case on the phone. To the, oh, okay. Uh, yeah, okay. Wow. Um, you just want something that has crossbow fan, fans like everything else. So yeah, okay. You might need a tall tower, like a large tower, rather than a mid. I think we've got your tall one though. Alright, hopefully mine that I've ordered, which is the right now, is going to be the right one. If you need to know what one I've ordered, I can, um, I can let you know the, the, the type of case if you think that would be the one to go for. Man, I hope mine's going to fit. At least you know where they're um, ready to go. Beachfront? Yep, here we go. Let's change to the other side. Tuck down the beach, down the dunes. Ah, Rune's following me. Yep, he's in the chopper. Get to the chopper! So, I have to shoot 100 feet. We do not have an extra 100 feet to go down. Okay. Nice area though, Lakes Entrance. Woohoo! In Victoria. Over near Barnsdale and Sale. Yep, Icarus is like the beach. Yep, off by the beach. It's a nice short beach. <laughs> it's like I can't see the end of it there. And I can't see the end of it there. Short beach. Yeah. In Australian terms, short beach. The beach does, does keep going. It'll have to end where the um, entrance is. Oh! Oh, you click on it and it disappears. Okay. I must have clicked somewhere down. Oh, down there. GPS position. Okay, that puts it away. Oh, I can have it over the side there. Oh, I can have it up high. Again, and again, and again, and again. Oh, that's a good point. Wait, really? Can you go like a lot further? Oh man, there's lots of little. Does that mean I've got to do the same and come back? Yeah, no, nah, fuck at that. If I just put it away and then bring it out. Ah, it remembers. Oh man, I got to press that a bunch of times. Oh, can I scroll? Oh, I can rollyball it. Yeah, there we go. Roll the ball mouse. No, 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 yep, yep, no, yep. Come on, where are you? Get back in position. Oh my god, there's a lot of places. I think I like it there better. Yeah. There we go, because then I can see my oil pressure. I like in this plane. This plane has got a lot of stuff for it. A lot of stuff. 
All right, we'll turn off name tags. We'll just use our GPS and we go fly into the airport. Make sure we land at the right one. This ought to be fun since I can't see other planes either. <laughs> Aaron's laughing at me chasing the GPS across the screen. It's like, it's still in there. I haven't seen the end of the beach yet. You know what, I like having other planes show up on the GPS and or VFR map, but I would prefer the actual aircraft models to be showing in the sim, if it was one or the other. I mean, I've bought so many and installed so many freeware stuff that when people fly with me they, they they can see themselves in the actual aircraft they've got most of the time. The fact that it's now hiding them from me not acceptable. I think we're gonna have to wait till November aren't we to the next update. Airport's out that way. Because I have a look to airport function. This ought to be fun. Which way does the airport go? Is that it there? There's a clearing there. It's not quite the right angle. Or if I look out the other side, it still looks like the right. It still looks like there's an airport there. I'm in a moth next to you, Brett. It says Dale. And unfortunately, the stupid sim's not showing it. Stupid sim. I don't think that's the runway. I'm going to land in someone's backyard. Rudin's gone and given me a challenge of getting rid of name tanks so I can't find the airport. I mean, it could actually be that field over there. Might have to fly over first. Sim, I think. Yeah. I think it's a sim update. Oh, is it a crossbar runway? I think it is. Oh man, there's a little bit of uh, turbulence. I mean, it looks like it's a dirt strip on top of the hill there. Unless there's grass next to it. What we'll do is we'll do a circle. Okay, don't land on that dirt strip, there are cars driving on it. That was not it. Okay. Wait, that's not it right there, is it? Yeah, it is. Is it? See that cable go up? Awesome. But it won't work until I'm about 40 knots or less. But that's so I don't tip it over. We're down. Nice long grass runway. 
I can't see anybody now. My sim has gone kaput with other people's views. Alright, you can go up now. We might want to stop before we go over the edge. That would suck. Alright, cool. And says, welcome. Is anyone? Cool, I'm down. Um, am I at the right airport? Seems to be where everybody else is. Woohoo! Why can't I see anybody? Alright, we'll try and fix that before the next stream. Um, I haven't organised anything other than tomorrow's truck at the moment. Um, I'm going to do a little bit of a shuffle with streams. I may do uh, another six. I can I can live with a six. I can walk away with this one as well. I'll go park up the uh, the aircraft. How do we go with fuel? Uh, 89%. What? Two percent fuel. I got 1.88 liters left. I may not even have enough to get to the taxi point. Where is this taxi point? Is it in that building or is it up the end? It's in that building where you guys are, is it? I don't know. I'll just go and park it over here. Oh my god. That is cutting the fuel close. Um, chocks. Chocks are out, thank you. Uh, we can actually pull the fuel valve back and kill the engine. Uh, oh, that's my nose trim. I didn't even bother using that. And you can go away. Props off. Um, magnetos off. And what we'll do is we will actually open up the aircraft completely. Okay. Let me get the doors. All right, luggage is open. Let's give it a quick look and service. No, we don't need to spin the prop. How cool is this? Not only that, uh, we, we can get the tablet if we wanted to and take the whole front off there and give it a good clean and service. All right, so let's do that while we're still here. All right, there we go. Pilot's still sitting in there. How cool is this aircraft? We'll give it a good, uh, give, it a, give it a good clean and service. I think there's actually, hang on, how do we get back inside? There is a way to, or is it the other side? Do my plugs, where is it there? Spark plugs. They seem to be fine, one, two, three, four, yep. They don't let me change it anyway. How cool is this? This plane is awesome. All right, um, look, that is a very long stream. Uh, normally, I like to keep this around the three hours. We've gone a little longer, but how cool is this plane? Awesome. Uh, we just got to make sure that I can start seeing everybody. So I don't know why. We'll work that out. Um, Peach Lemo just got back. Love the Tiger Moth. Yes. Xenon, thanks. Jan, great flight. Thanks, Jan. Or one. Uh, bye Xenon, uh, thanks Brett and friends, a great flight. I'd like to say thank you everybody. Keep an eye out for uh, future streams. We will get back in the Tiger Moth and we'll go somewhere else. If anybody has a um, preference or selection or an idea, put it in my Discord and I'll have a look and maybe we'll fly that. Um, so I'm open to selection. Other than that, everybody have a great day. Anybody see what I did with my, oh, it's right above me. 
Have a great day, and um, unfortunately I can't see anybody's name tags still, so cheers, thank you, goodbye. Thank you, Fozzy, for your membership. Nine months, mate. Could brainwash the whole country.